serious night, but we're here to have fun. A celebration on the final day and a final try for these two teams. Nothing. Quiet. Silence until Magic sends one round down monster. Kios hits the dirt, and that shiver goes down the spine of Gamer Legion. They're gonna try to press it in, and they do return. But they've got Saiwu in front of them now. Dual Beretta's towards the short side. Manages to spam away Isaac. Apex falls towards Graffiti, and it falls on the shoulders of Sphinx to pick up this pistol, or else Gamer Legion will kick off a T side on a difficult CT heavy map. And that momentum could be massive. Poor Sphinx, the moment he gets in, takes a shot to the face. Now you've got to do it with 12 HP but nothing's impossible in Counter-Strike. That's the beauty of our game. But he gets beat by both, he falls, and Gamer Legion will take first blood. A great pistol round here from Gamer Legion. Come into the B site. 45 seconds. That volley of utility comes over the top, and Saiwu hits his first target, but Sphinx has been sat in this pocket, and we've got Magisk already taking one down. There's the second. Zywu catches one, then the flank. Sphinx picks up that Galil. The Deagle point back, and it all comes up Vitality. Usually flawless isn't always. Vitality win with five alive. It's been almost 28 days, if I have my math right, since Vitality have lost a map. Semi-finals at Rio versus Cloud9. And you know what? They still won the series. But here at the Major, it's been flawless from them. And even though they haven't won a map, there have been moments where it looked like they could. Even yesterday versus Apex, Vitality, make no mistake, have looked human. Deal up a little short control, see a couple bodies, everybody on high alert. And Matt just looking for the first fight. Guns down two like it's nothing. Mm. Third one falls just as easy. Those pistols. Very curious to see how much skin Vitality showed throughout these rounds. Apex gonna collect another one down towards Monster. No matter how much time you take here, Gamer Legion, you will not have the success that Vitality did in their force up. That was all in from the T side and all out with the money. They're trying to sell them on something. Yeah, this flash could be massive. They're starting to press in. Timing looking like it is perfection. Double spray down from Dupree. Every time Gamer Legion step on the Monster Pell, they fall. Sphinx sits behind Pillar, repeats with Apex alongside him. Can Vitality do any wrong? Absolutely crushed under that information. And even though Zawu doesn't get a kill, he wins that round with his position alone. Imagine a world where I'm giving you unique tips and tricks about the game. On top of that, analyzing your demo. He flashes himself in. So hard to do that effectively. Very good. Always leading by example. Meanwhile, Skin Club is taking care of all that drip to make you look like a superstar. Definitely an angle that could catch Gamer Legion off guard. Certainly with support nearby as well. Dupree dives down, Magic's catching one. And every time they try to get into these bomb sites, it's essentially just Gamer Legion the fall. Ever since that forced by in round two. Mm. My god, we've only seen two deaths since then. Three, including Apex here and now. And Sphinx is going to play with his food. He will crush the two that sit outside of Monster. He will hunt down the last in oh. Ema. And he will take his head so clean off that Vitality sit comfortably four rounds ahead. A magnetic aim from Sphinx. He's 0-7. Zywu extends forward, slaps down Acor. That's the off exchanging hands. Let's see if Chaos gets his first. No, it's Isaac. Tech 9 connects. Sphinx has been everywhere whenever Gamer Legion press. But around the boxes, Isaac's able to catch yet another. And Apex's position gets clear. It's a drive-by on the Tech 9. A triple kill entry that takes the wind out of Vitality's sails, puts that bomb down, and still leaves them now with weapons. Double op. This is an excellent spot for Gamer Legion, assuming the others can also swing with the two-handed Warhammer. 
Kios posts up on long. Flash comes over. Excellently done. Magus only able to undo the first. And this one falls on Dupree. The omnipresent, dead, and Ema. Gamer Legion break through with the triple tech nine. An unreal round out of Isaac. His itinerary had no layovers right there. All the way to the back of the site. Didn't even use the primary weapon that he picked up. Tech nine to get the second frag. And you could see that Saiwoo was in jeopardy of getting swarmed. A slower pace round would have allowed him to fall back. But after the opening duel, a great flash out of Gamer Legion instead of jumping on an opera and potentially getting multi-fragged. And that patience. If I can see it, so can Apex. So he drops the nade on Kios, who had just moved out. And his spray not good enough for the second. But still, dropping Dupree, something to work with. Wall bang damage going back and forth. And Isaac shuts the door to go and join his teammates up on A. We've got Zywu stuck in. Excuse me, Sphinx stuck. Molly on his feet. Flash comes out, perfectly timed. It's a bit delayed, but Zywu is there to save him. Oh, and he has a escape shoot here as he goes out towards long oh okay Emma, with one bullet it's not to the head but it's a low hp player worked on earlier by kios up fight zywoo's ready <laughs> but a core bests him and now apex is left to clutch they're close so close point blank he shoots it's so damn close the pistol Capitan takes him down in one messy 1v2, but he slurped it all up. He loved every little bit of that. <laughs> Listen, it wouldn't be Apex if it wasn't messy. This Counter-Strike's not always beautiful, but by God, is it glorious. Critical 1v2. <laughs> the Dury reaction says it all, and oof. Acor knows he had a chance, but he wished he was on the rifle. But more importantly, tapping left click as he flies through that defense on A, then what do you have? Every time they've hit this bomb site, they've been met by multi kills in abundance. Now, Magis gives up his original angle. Dupree's gonna hold on to this pillar, and he feels comfortable for a second. So much so that he goes in and drops Shuhei three before that gun goes dry. Isaac's chance to shine again, but not at the hands of Apex. Let's talk about the counter pressure, the flashbangs out of vitality. Every single player flashed. Every single player hand over face. Picture clear as day to Vitality at this point. And another flash assist in the kill feed. Yeah. Sphinx. Not gonna. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Feeling the wrath with a quick flick. Just getting him warmed up, too. Plenty of rounds left for Zaiwu to shine. But that one was his 11th. Flashiest one yet. That was the surgery we paid to see. What an incision out of Zaiwu. Shuhei up to the bat. Oh my god, a double deagle! What? He slips in on Long and just shatters the defense. Vitality with the time bleeding down right now will be just as confused as Acor. Yeah. Great highlight. Oh my god. The only kids are on the floor of A, and Acor gets exactly what he needs. The bomb is spotted, and Shuhei still hunting. Acor gonna take his time. Is this a mistake made? He, wait, hold up. Shuhei's still above. You can see that Magis starts to get nervous, worried, because of the fact that there's all of a sudden no action down on B. Bomb is now planted, and we've got ourselves a clutch with a nade that goes deep and doesn't find its mark. It's MA, M for A1S versus A1S. And Magisk, where is he? Down oh. beneath you! And yet it's Magisk's body that falls. Acor taking Bomb and rotating all the way back into that B site. Exactly what Gamer Legion needed. Dupree just waiting point blank. We've got Apex Tuck to help either end. And Magisk hears the rumblings of the commitment. But backs turned. Gives Apex the immediate trade. Now the Bomb site still belongs to Apex's angles. And Zaiwu has managed to rotate before. Ooh, the smoke goes up. But they cross at that perfect moment. Another gimmick, another chance. But it's a little bit delayed. They've got to catch them. He's right there, spotted and dealt with. Apex puts up the boost in the perfect moment. They still don't know where Zywoo's at. And Kios has got away into the crypts by this B site. Zywoo finds him. Shuhei, not this time. If it's not pistols, then it's not Gamer 
Pure Legion! And that's where Zayu shows you it's the great awareness on top of the fantastic reflexes and clutch plays. He spins up a little dust outside the B site. Gets the CT scrambling. Sphinx. He's gonna drop two Hey, Second is his! So consistently in those multi-kills that Gamer Legion constantly reel back from him. Zaiwu's right-hand man surpasses him in this moment. 16 kills to Sphinx's name. And more to be had. Yet again with the headshot, Ima peeks next, finally puts him down. The only person so far for the Gamer Legion that's brought back anything in this one. Put forth your best champion, says Vitality. They've done that, but he gets caught by timing. Surprised, and maybe given too much responsibility. Now this plan still works, assuming the site guy can pull off what he has to. In this case, it is Apex. In this case, Bomb crosses, but exposed. And Apex yet again plays this perfectly. Hellcore's oh. movement can't bail him out. A bona fide Bonaparte as he sits on long and calls it perfectly. Ooh, this is one of those moments where Zaiwu could go so far above and beyond, but he plays it humbly. Picks off one, falls back, gives a little space for his teammates to flex those AKs. But he's also not gonna give you too much space. Apex is low. We've got multiple bodies back in these bank positions, and yet still the retake continues smoothly enough thus far. Nicely timed on the peak. The double tech nine out of Isaac yet again. Last time, he nailed three. And this time, it's Ima to offer up another. Gamer Legion on these pistols, into the rifle. Goes back for second servings. Time is ticking, and he's desperate. So desperate that he gives it up to Dupree. Ooh, another crazy moment and a close call from Gamer Legion. They almost make it happen on the A site. Oh, this could be his. Finally a moment, finally a chance, Kios double. We've seen Vitality get away with so many of these mid-round moments. But Kios gets his chance to shine. He has three kills this half, and you just saw two on the press out through Monster, but it is better late than never. And he could go one step further here now versus Apex. Soon that smoke will fade, and he falls yet within it. But that's fine because Shuhei will try this again. The same spot that nailed that double deagle, the same opening that put Gamer Legion on the board will be attempted yet once more in the dying moments of this T side. Shuhei has found the opening, we're equal. Bomb has the cross, and he's lost his support in the meantime. But now he comes back up with his hands on the AK and a chance to fade back as op shots wail through those boxes. Shuhei slips away. The leader of the Legion. Versus Apex and the Wu. And there's a bit of space offered up from both sides, but now time decides we're beyond that halfway point. Smoke goes, tap on bomb. Shuhei nails the first kill. Zaiwu taps it yet again, but it is Shuhei to close. Gamer Legion with a lifeline, with a chance, with a four round half. An abysmal start compared to some of their other games. They put away eight teams in a row, Ents being one of them. And now 4v5 down in a pistol to bring 12. Zonic hates this score line. Zawu says, I'm gonna help you out. Yeah, how about a quick little entry? And a great chance at a second, but he fails back. Apex tries his best Shuhei impression, can't slide out long. But it's not over towards this A site where Zaiwu and Apex have been seen that things are truly unfolding. Acor will attempt to press up, wary of his flank because Zaiwu has already shown face. And speaking of it, to get torn right off. Now this is no longer the stick. Shuhei comes off of that defuse. Zaiwu has a hell of a chance here. And all the CTs turning towards his teammate deal with him on. Oh! It is a wonderful 4K. That's Shuhei, the four time, gets four. Apex just assumes that was for him. Yeah, and right now, this could be his round. Yeah, that's. Oh, Isaac swings out. He must come in, though. And we've got Emma. You know who we haven't seen much from just yet. So have an opportunity away. to frag, but the shot goes back. Two back in for Vitality. Kios just can't finish it. Ooh. Launders, they've done oh. it again.
one. Two pistols and two failed conversions. It's always going to take something a little special. Oh, man, and Spinks is not slowing down. His 20th thus far. Plenty more where that one came from. Quick peek off of water. Pistols definitely within that range of lethality. And Apex making the Fomis look good, as do all the French. Oh, they try to cut off rotations here. Apex throws his incendiary, and it will for a second. But we've got one straggler. Dupree up front. Isaac with an opportunity. Dupree. Oh, he goes down. A minute up on the clock, but 2v3 here for Vitality. Just sit back, relax. Don't throw away this moment. Isaac knows his time is limited, but Acor offers yet again. And the Gamer Legion will not fall without a fight. Oh, and Isaac puts up one hell of a wall. That wow. was full commitment out of Vitality towards the B site. I am. They know he plays bathrooms. He needs to be a star today. He needs to. Ooh, but, but he it's... can't get this one. Shoulder gets spotted. Zywoo this... takes the head off. This star's too bright. And look how quick that forward pack of players starts rolling outwards. Mm. Although it does create this awkward timing here for Acor. And little does he realize, time limited. But he keeps his head on a swivel. And that could be the end of him. Apex lines it up, takes his extra second. Not wanting to drop the chance at unraveling that long hold. Gamer Legion with the force by victory. But can they hang on? Already down by two, already with Vitality knocking on the door of this A site. The Rampage comes forward and Isaac cannot hold them all. Vitality will not be stopped. That ball keeps rolling. That would give so many rounds for Vitality to close it with. Why not throw the Hail Mary? Do not play to simply get to the next one. Play to win. And so they'll start to beat these pistols out. There's the singular trade. The only one the Gamer Legion will be able to fall on to Vitality. Leave no stone unturned. And that bad omen of winning the last event before the Major just to lose the Major. Seems to be lifted. Magisk as rapid as possible. Rapid even inside of the bomb site, but blind. And there's the recovery from Apex and Dupree. Vitality simply smashed their way into that B bomb site. And we will be left in a two versus two with the stars of Gamer Legion hoping to align versus the questionable individuals of Vitality. Can Apex and Dupree close? With that shot, it seems sure enough, with this push, time dwindling away. One more kill, and Vitality find themselves map up in a major grand finals. There it is! 16 to six. The pressure is off. Their first showing of golden moments, surrounded by the Hornets. What will we see on the other side of this break? Will this be the Gamer Legion snap? Quick little peek back offside of Heaven, drop down from Isaac. If you're gonna actually make this series anywhere competitive, you better get some CT rounds here. The analyst desk putting Acor's performance under a spotlight. Mentioning that this is his lowest rated map, that for the Legion, he is not there. And that draws one piece of their winning recipe off of the table. Feels to me like that's more pressure on him, on Ima. Who's able to draw this back with the dual Berettas, gets his fight up top, throws caution to the wind, and he finds himself a third. He has single-handedly ripped Vitality apart inside of this pistol, and he's done it with those dualies. Apex strikes them down from above, and now we've got Zywoo in the clutch versus Acor. Op v Op. Slowly, he gets closer. Slowly, the clash sets. The peaks are there, oh. and it is Acor that will give Gamer Legion exactly what they need. Three for three, folks. Smoke and a flash and a full exec. Vitality gonna crank that dial. Tempo to a 10. Isaac backside sprays, can't manage, but a push. Ima tries to throw himself into it, as does that flank from Lobby, and neither will succeed. Leaves Shuhei down beneath. 
It's a massive confidence play out of Vitality, and that's part of the playbook that Game Religion can't go to. You know, when we talk about these teams and how good they are, we've seen such fantastic maps out of them. But of course, it doesn't run that deep. We saw Apex have problems in the veto yesterday, not getting, not being able to play Ancient. Game Religion having to face Nuke, also trouble for them. Ima gargoyling on the top of this ramp has gone unchecked. A beautiful moment. Five, seven snaps. Two kills from the corner and a third with just the sidearm. There he is. Aim high, me high. Says never ever. Shoot and below the neck. Bout time on top of that. Welcome to the series. Welcome to the grand finals. And there are many players who can talk a big game. Everyone likes to talk. There are fewer who can fight with the bark and a spray oh, out of oh. UA. See you later, Apex. When he first walked out on stage, turned him into light work. Even with the peak denied. Not the best hardware here for Vitality, but given that chance, we just talked about his confidence for him to run up into the lobby, for him to take that fight to Vitality, and for him to falter on it has suddenly put this consistent streak of round wins into question. Apex presence shown from secret. Looks to continue on, down, and Isaac will shut him off. Not allowing him to join his teammates with said bomb inside the site with the plant there too. Mm. It is only two left for Gamer Legion and both would hope to live. But Sphinx has other ideas. Shuts off the lobby exit. Acor, you may hide. You may run for the hills. Couldn't ask for a better save location. They'll try to maybe spray him down through the walls. Acor, quick trade. Love the aggression. Love the fact that he's not shying away. You just alluded to it. The possibility of him falling silent. But Apex will survive that pistol point blank. Yeah, that could have been a mistake. But as they pause, there's more pressure. Acor will get shut down as Magisk just sat above, giving cover to the other side. <laughs> Emo with the Zeus and a dink off the pistol. But a rapid response from Vitality to tie this game at three apiece. I like that we got some... But that doesn't shy his focus. There's only one objective here tonight. Ooh, got it. And that's the pop heads. Acor Wait. will help him out. Shuhei over top of the smoke finds Apex. And the longer Vitality wait, Oh, it's an early push. The more aggressive Gamer Legion get. Vax turn. Nobody there to watch it. Two easy kills out of Kios. And Zaiwu, he's going to fall victim to the MP9. Ima sits in position and continues this strong start. If only just one, a critical frag. Shut down Zaiwu fast. Absolutely. The demon from below here in the vents to catch him on their fall off. Acor, a specialist, a surgeon in those moments. Shots like that is exactly what he was made to lock down. And so now, Gamer Legion win a very solid rifle. Support up above. More of it coming in from Maine, but here comes Vitality's onslaught. It's an attempt, and it's a near double. Dupree can't get that heaven kill, and Shuhei, he'll use this chance to fly back, but Dupree is alive and fighting! The Eternal strikes down three, Ema from within the smoke draws it back. Zaiwu drop bomb down with him. Acor, where is he? Low health, and Apex can't manage his. It falls on Dupree. No ace, no 4K. Shuhei saves them. It's all Ima, 16 and five. How ready he is for Vitality's nuke. He wants it. He'll get a taste of Apex with support right behind him on both ends of this. Acor's pinched. But a cage oh. can sometimes be dangerous. Zaiwu oh. and Apex take headshots. Both pop like souffles. As Shuhei falls down, he doesn't even hit the ground, but dies midair from the top of the tower. He looks to fall down in Magisk beneath him. A smoke on the paint can to open a possibility. But just as quickly as it shows itself, Apex cuts off the other end. Gamer Legion were nowhere to be found in this mid-round moment. Dare I say it, scared. And they let Apex relieve the tension. He's having a great series so far. But they go through with no casualties in the 3v2. Ima, as the important one, gets shut down immediately outside. And it says something that it's Apex with a Galil of all things. Not the easiest gun to win versus Ima. 
not in this match. Chance for Kios if he wants to press out. This is an adaptation being shown from Gamer Legion. Not one, but two big greens. Oh my god. And that second one could catch them off guard if there is any attempt to move this back. Seeing as they have already found out that Acor was inside that oh. bomb site, Shuhei's in between them. And it's Acor who does lock it down. The double loss paying off. Apex tries to reclaim it. He peeks yet again, but that secondary sniper. And Kios, no stranger to struggles on this big stage. This grand Ooh. finals has not been kind to him, but round 11 of map two has his name stamped across it. Gamer Legion figured it out. They stayed composed. Last peak. Can uh -oh. he do it again under this much pressure? It's just the leg shot. He'll at least finish off the three and the A1S from Shuhei draws them in. It's two and a half kills out of him. A stellar enough defense that leaves Vitality limping elsewhere. Options are theirs. Choices to be made. And the slimmest bit of skin. Ima gets ever closer. He is on high alert. He knows that they are right there. Prime for the popping. An eighth round for the taking. Ima will continue this tear. Oh man, so good. And I, I mean, I love the outpost maneuver here from Gamer Legion. We're talking about an MP9 at the base of the ramp, and that is it in sight. But a missed chance from Dupree. And an inkling as to what's really going on. Ima's patience pays off. He catches the back of Apex, and Isaac will slaughter Sphinx. It is Zaiwu, but on the AWP. This man on this weapon is what strikes fear in the hearts of nearly every single Counter-Strike player across the world. Given a chance to shine, Zaiwu will make you pay the price, but he's gonna have to do everything in this one. Door swung, third's his. Oh, but point blank, he falters. And every single kill you believed. Then why wouldn't you play this again? But the difference is Ima. Quick glimpse, catches Apex with his side turn. His teammate's coming in from control, but does he even need help? Not so far, does it all. And Sphinx back inside of the lobby will be turned elsewhere. There is nothing left for Vitality in round 14. Looking like Snake in that vent. On the other end, Kios, pressure from both sides of this bomb site, and then the time is that overarching issue. We've got 15 seconds as the digits get punched. Shuhei catches space. This one's for five, and it seems to go down smoothly. Finally, Vitality will crack the nut one last time. This B site, it is their opening. They felt it in the last couple of rounds, and they were finally able to approach it from the other end to put themselves into such a great position. A core five health, four opponents, and nowhere to go. But Gamer Legion have shown us that they are here to play. The brightest star in the server is Ima. As Vitality try to put together a CT side. Zaiwu from the corner. Oh, he taps him. Two frags out of him is great. Apex is nade, hones one down. And Dupree used that moment to slip up close. That's gonna shy Shuhei back towards ramp. They don't have the bomb on them. And Dupree has caught him a pistol round for the first Ooh. time in this series. Pistol to Vitality. Ooh. Their positions expected. And still Vitality give them that bit of space. Nice run, Booth. Oh no, Acor. Broken femurs. Dupree and Zaiwu pop back up. It's a good amount of money for Dupree. Yeah. Nade in hand again to assist, to punish the push. Ooh. Zaiwu's got him now. He's making a ton of sound. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The push with the Fall back. back. Oh, it's a multi. Zaiwu's got that fresh mag ready for some more. Ready for a third serving. How many courses to this meal as Zaiwu pops right back up? Just one after another. Oh, the ramifications of losing this one. I mean, one thing, if you're able to just look at, at a single pinpoint moment where, where something could have gone your way. Vitality need to be very careful, even with these better guns. That's all they've got. A chance to press out ramp. It's an easy cleanup here for Magisk. Zaiwu here, support with him. And Vitality will not shudder in the face of pistols. It's going to take much more than that.
No skin shown so far. You can hear the rumblings of this presence out of Vitality. Ooh, he peeks it. Clean shot. And he catches the shoulder of Apex. All he needs for an opening 5v4, but a response immediately out of Vitality as they start. The advantages in this map have been far and few between so far on this T side. And he's got one in his hands, a golden opportunity for Shuhei to deliver the right strategy alongside Acor's op. They will burn ever so slightly, and they will trudge down into the lower site, where at least Sphinx awaits them. But already able to cross to the bomb site, oh. Isaac instantaneous. And a spray out of Zaiwu that won't find its mark. Gamer Legion with a 5v4 makes the most of this rare moment. He changes position in those waning few moments right before the hit. The calm before the storm comes to an end. A very exposed position for Dupree. Falls down into the flames. Sphinx locks it in. Two frags off the AK. Bomb at his feet. Goes for another and Isaac's gonna end him. But there are still layers here. He will not manage to catch it up top. And the only thing left for Gamer Legion with a mere 10 seconds on this clock is a chance to walk away. Ooh, they gave him so much space. But they got confused. The upstairs hit comes in, but Sphinx's reactions were perfect. He got rid of the incendiary. It is a measly two-round advantage. And once more, their economy on the line. They're gonna crank that dial. Sphinx under pressure. He takes a shot to the head, but between him and Dupree, they lock off three. Zaiwu in with one as well. That squeaky push is slaughtered. And, and Gamer Legion falter. And that's everybody coming to the potluck with something. Four kills between three players. Took them to a new level. Proved to be worth every penny. Game of millimeters and milliseconds. Oh! <laughs> and at the end of the day, it's all about the left click, baby. Acor looking to hang on for dear life. Jokes aside, very critical save for him to keep this off. Yeah, Hell, for him to keep this round alive. Nah. Oh, come on. Now. Bomb is too far away, but yeah, the op coming forward is something. It was his 2K and the entry on the cross outside that made that possible. Dupree with a nice angle. Utilities coming at him, blinded, fire down beneath. Oh, he's fumbling the moment. Two, three, four! Gamer Legion breakthrough, but Zaiwu's up in heaven. And he's ready for the fight, he drops again. Surely not. But he's pulled this off. Point blank kills Shuhei. He's got a second to his left, whether he knows it or not. Being hunted, he'll fall. Oh. Kios will not let this one get away from him. No, no, that, that one before was enough. Woo and a failed win. The kills do do something here in the 1v5 position, but what an attack out of Gamer Legion. The torrential outpour of T's coming out at the same time of Squeaky and Hut. I did not feel like they had this ability mm. to pull off an upper hit. Blind the whole time, frustration apparent, understandably. But you've got to recover emotionally. Magisk. Currently, with one up close, a second oh to the back. Oh my god. And Ima just gets the headshot. Not even. It was a dink through the wall. Oh, followed by the body. Oh, but here he is. Ready again. You saw a flash of it in the last round, but now Acorn's posted. Apex slides out. Figures out where the other upper is. And with bomb down, Zaiwu hunts. At least they stop the bomb. They know that drop down towards B. There are options here for both IGLs. And Isaac's getting ever closer. Between them, he's Ooh. nearly slipped through. They found what they were looking for, the and final clue. That just pushes Gamer Legion forward. That means now you need to take this bomb. You've got to try and grab this moment. You've got one out from control, a fight into the ramp room. Sphinx getting ever closer. T side turn, instant execution. Keon's back and down. It is Vitality with a one round difference. Oh. You can see the concern on. Zonic's eyes, you can see it. It's a tense moment. But they do a great job right there. Finding Isaac, buying time, letting Zaibu work. Just like Gamer Legion have done from Imma. But he certainly slowed down on this T side. More control here for Vitality on their comfort side. And some energy out of Zaiwu. A CT timeout called now. 
It's not Gamer Legion to get too quick. It's in fact Magisk who's gonna try to take the tip of the spear. Oh. And he finds Ima sure enough at the base of Silo. Kios has been cheered for throughout this event and yet his impact yet to be felt throughout this series. He is looking to take it back into the ramp. However, Zywu greets him. And with one shot of the off, ramp room shuttered close. A quick move out of the CT to reposition to support elsewhere. Shuhei cannot reposition these troops fast enough ahead of the line of vitality. It has been drawn in the sand, drawn in the blood of the Gamer Legion. Vitality two away. Seen to pre-falter in this moment, pressured from this position. He's got support with him yet again, and he gets an instantaneous opening. Apex from the rafters, drops another. And just like that, the dreams of Gamer Legion evaporate. And Apex, the guy you never expected to be an IGL, is now amongst the best. An entry fragger by trade has reinvented himself to carry a team to top one. And Apex on the other side. He falls away, takes the spam, and he leans on who other than the legend of Lance? Who other than Lilu? But they turn back because they're so afraid, and then they walk into Apex, the only two Frenchmen to take it in a major on French soil. Isaac with everything on him. Vitality shot! Unbelievable moment here. If you're here to witness it for the first time, soak it up. Because you've just witnessed greatness, and you've just witnessed history, and you've just witnessed Saiwu get his chip. You've witnessed Dupree break a record. Majes get four. Apex do it as an IGL. And Sphinx without Snappy. The first Middle Eastern major champion when so many others wanted at least one major, and we watched them fall one after another as this event in Paris went on. No Nico, no Kadian, but arguably one of the greatest to ever do it in Saiwu will get his. Born on the same day as the Counter-Strike release, the Chosen One.